welcome. What is Take Back the Night about? Take Back the Night is an international event typically held on the third Friday of September of each year. Um, it started in 1877 as a women's only protest against the violence and fear that women encountered walking the streets at night. Uh, the mission of the event is to bring attention to the sexual relationship and gender-based violence in all forms. We want to seek to end sexual assault, domestic violence, dating violence, sexual abuse, and all forms of sexual violence so that people can walk the streets without fear. The Women's Centre has organized and marched um, for Take Back the Night since the early 80s. But um, this year, because of the COVID restrictions, we decided to do something a little bit different. So we have an event called, What Were You Wearing? This is a survivor art installation. We have a display and a collection of brief descriptions of what survivors were wearing when they experienced sexual violence. The descriptions were used to recreate the outfits worn during the assaults. The goal of the installation is for the viewers to see themselves reflected in these stories. Recognizing ourselves moves us away from blaming the victim for violence and places the responsibility where it belongs and those that cause the harm. For most survivors, the question, what were you wearing, becomes very pervasive, and it's our job as advocates and supporters to dispel the myth that somehow the clothes you were wearing caused the assault. The installation asks viewers to understand that it was never about the clothing. Please feel free to come and take in this uh, very poignant um, installation. It is, um, this is a free event. It's happening at the Quinnell Art Gallery in the Rec Centre. It's running from September 23rd to October the 2nd. The gallery hours are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and they're closed Sunday and Monday. I'm going to read a poem. It's called What I Was Wearing by Mary Simmerling. This poem um, inspired uh, this installation and a lot of other installations uh, like it. So I'd like to share it with you. What I was wearing was this. From the top, a white t-shirt, cotton, short-sleeved and round at the neck. This was tucked into a jean skirt, also cotton, ending just above the knees, knees and belted at the top. Underneath all this was a white cotton bra and white underpants, though probably not a set. On my feet, white tennis shoes, the kind one plays tennis in, and then finally, silver earrings and lip gloss. This is what I was wearing that day, that night, that 4th of July in 1987. You may be wondering why this matters or even how I remember every item in such detail. You see, I've been asked this question many times. It has been called to my mind many times. This question, this answer, these details. But my answer, much awaited, much anticipated, seems flat somehow, given the rest of the details of that night, during which, at some point, I was raped. And I wonder, what answer, what details, would give comfort, could give comfort to you, my questioners. Seeking comfort where there is, alas, no comfort to be found. If only it were so simple, if only we could end rape by simply changing clothes. I remember also what he was wearing that night, even though it's true that no one has ever asked.